So we're going to begin tonight uh, with presenting the Distinguished Alumnus Award, uh, which is one of the highest honors the school can bestow. It recognizes the graduates' achievements and contributions to their profession or community that bring honor to the school. Our first award tonight is presented to Young Wong of the class of 1957. Young was a true pioneer, the first Asian student ever to attend Hunt. He's a perfect example of why we attract international students and how they enrich our school community. When I first met Young, uh, he told me an amazing story of traveling alone by freighter ship across the Pacific Ocean. Uh, he was 16 at the time, uh, and it's remarkable that he even found the Hun School. But he found it, uh, and he thrived here. Uh, he soon became a school leader, a member of the first team of school prefects, a fine scholar, uh, and an athlete. At graduation, he received the faculty prize, which is our highest honor for a student, uh, and then he went on to attend Princeton University, which is a very long way from where he started. Your program describes the basics of uh, Young's remarkable subsequent career, his doctorate from NYU, his 40-year career in venture capital, his university teaching, his philanthropy, and his service on the board of directors of over 40 companies. I'll only add that it's very hard to get this information from Young because he is so darn humble and so modest. Uh, in fact, I think we only recently learned about his uh, PhD, and I suspect that there are achievements he still hasn't told us about. <laughs> and I'll share with you that Hung, Young has a sincere love uh, for this school. He once told me that after 60 years, he still sometimes dreams that he's looking out at the mall from a Russell Hall window. Young has given back generously to his alma mater by supporting the Cheesebro Scholarship Fund and establishing the Wong Family Scholarship. In these ways, he makes it possible for future students to enjoy Hun's influences just as he did many years ago. Young is joined here tonight by his wife, Nancy, and his daughter, Christine Wong Lent. Please join me in congratulating Young Wong. Good evening. I'm honored to be here to return to this campus, which holds so many precious memories for me, to be among fellow alumni and aid who have experienced the nurturing of this fine institution, and to be with those who have made Penn School such successful secondary school. And I'm also to be sharing this podium with Leopoldo, who has, who's a patriot, who is changing and is gonna bring a new future for Friends Australia. Hans alumni acknowledge that the school changed their lives for the better. For me, Hans gave me a new life. I applied to Hans in the spring of 1955, 60 years ago, when I was in Hong Kong. I remember vividly the last page of the application, which was to write an essay on the topic, it was a far cry. Well, I had no idea what a far cry meant. <laughs> so what I wrote, can I have been very cogent that Dr. Cheesebro accepted me anyway, sight and seeing, with a significant scholarship at a time when Hun was facing financial pressures. Plan B for me in 1955 was to attend a school in Scotland. My life would have taken a completely different path and the journey would not have been nearly as rewarding and fulfilling as it has been. I was on a freighter, as I mentioned, for 17 days from Taiwan to San Francisco. It was four years before I saw my family again. There wasn't much to do on a freighter, except reading, sitting at deck here watching waves overlap each other, and contemplating. Contemplating about a new school in a new land, about my parents' hopes, and about how it would fare. In all that time, I never thought my American dream would turn out so well. I was welcomed warmly by everyone at home. I remember so many teachers who went out of their way to help and advise me. I mean, it was a school with only about 120 students then, so one knew everyone. I made many friends and was, I was invited to the homes of several classmates. Whereas schooling in Asia was all academics. Here I wrestled and crewed as a cox, wrote for the Moor and Richard Stone, and served on the student council. 
academic rigor along with the career and teachers taught me, uh, uh, encouraged me to excel. Crewing taught me teamwork, precision, and giving one's utmost. Wrestling taught me mental and physical endurance. And being one of the very first prefects in my senior year taught me leadership, responsibility, and decision making. Dr. Chispo looked after me with special care, checking in on me frequently. I firmly believe it was Dr. Chispo's personal relationship and advocacy that got me admitted to my first choice college down the street. At graduation, as John mentioned, I was awarded, awarded a faculty prize, which I consider the most significant award I have received. My life since, with wife Nancy and daughter, um, and two children, and uh, four grandchildren, has been most fulfilling. First, I was a computer technologist who spent the bulk of my career as a venture capitalist, funding startups, uh, serving on boards, and helping entrepreneurs build companies, which I still do today. My most meaningful and rewarding work was as an elected trustee of the Irvington, New York Board of Education for 12 years, providing education to K-12 students in the school district. I'm still active in tennis, biking, golf, and bridge. A few years ago, I took up the sport of paragliding <laughs> and I've flown over the business of Arizona, off the cliffs by Pacific shores in California, and in the Alps in Italy. <laughs> it was a dream of almost every Chinese, still true today, to come to this land of opportunity to pursue a life of happiness. Hun gave me that opportunity. I have been fortunate to have been here during an unprecedented period of peace and prosperity in America. All because Dr. Chispo said to me, in my two wonderful years at home, it would have been a far cry without home school. Thank you. <laughs>